As so many are heading back to school, a new issue. How are the kids going to get there? Ride sharing for kids is on the rise. Uber and Lyft are used more and more now by adults, but now some services are aiming at the younger market. Becky Worley here with what you need to know before arranging a ride. Hey, Becky. Transportation for parents, as you know, is a huge ordeal. Uh, you may have a regular plan to get them to and from school, but then every Thursday they have to get to soccer practice or that music lesson or religious ed. Is it possible that there's an app for that? Ride sharing. It's genius. Open app. Select destination. Car arrives. Boom. You've got transportation. For busy parents, the idea of applying the same concept to kids, especially older teens, sounds like a dream come true. What age kids you know have started using Uber or Lyft by themselves or with friends without a parent? Uh, like 12, 11. From what you know, do they use their accounts or their parents' accounts? Pretty sure their parents' accounts. Yet the major rideshare companies don't allow kids under 18 to ride alone. According to Uber, account holders who allow unaccompanied minors to use their account may also lose access to Uber. Lyft's policy is similar. Children are welcome to join adult passengers in a ride, but aren't permitted to ride alone. But for kids under 18, rideshare is a growing space. The Barnell family of Oakland, California, regularly uses a service called Kango. It offers rides for unaccompanied kids as young as three. We use it for school, also to take them to soccer uh, practice. Rides are pre-scheduled, not on demand like Uber. In this case, their 12-year-old daughter Olivia is heading to rowing camp. I go here and, and press book a driver. I select the kids that are going to be on this ride, and I'm going to select one for Olivia. Hi, have a good day. Hi. Nice to Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. A great solution for busy parents who can afford it. You okay back there? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. It's a little bit more expensive than Uber, but um, we understand that is because of the uh, background check, the, you know, the fact that they have to select drivers with a lot of experience, dealing with kids. Another service on the market, Hop, Skip, Drive. Kids have to be at least six years old to ride alone. Both Kango and Hop, Skip, Drive vigorously background check drivers. While ride sharing for minors doesn't have all the kinks worked out yet, it's certainly a dream many parents hope will come true. All right, we're here. Safely in the near future. Goodbye, have Thank a great day. You. Another way tech can help, apps that organize carpool schedules. So if you have a bunch of families that regularly share rides, you get an app like Carpool Kids. You put in when you can drive and when you can't. Other people do the same, and it churns out a schedule. This I is like that. Like so like much that. easier than a spreadsheet. But yeah. you guys should have seen the reactions when <laughs> three-year-old going in a ride. Yeah. I, I know, but, you know, parents doing the best that they can. I, I, I get all that, but... Wow, a three-year-old? Yes. No, yes, young. <laughs> mm. Desperate times, oh, desperate measures. Wow. All right, thank you, Tune Becky. Out. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.